What you want to do is make sure that you put something in your ears and there's plenty of things that you can put in your ears without, without breaking the bank, without spending a lot of money. What we want to make sure is that you get something that works for you as a musician. So you don't need to spend a fortune, you just need to spend as much as you need to spend to protect your hearing and still be able to perform. Drummers in that respect are quite lucky on a lot of occasions because they can cope sometimes with, with earmuffs, with um, foam earplugs, with all sorts that somebody like a, a vocalist for instance might be a little bit more fussy because they need to hear specifically what they're singing, they can be a bit more demanding. So first and foremost, the most effective and cost effective hearing protection you can buy is foam earplugs because they are cheap as chips and they are all over the place. And what they do, they are very, very effective at trapping air and air pockets are an incredibly good insulator against sound. And so they will stop an awful lot of that high frequency noise absolutely dead. With foam earplugs, you wanna make sure that the first thing you do is make sure that you're fitting them properly, that if they're in sizes, you've got the right size for your ear and you take the time to fit them properly so that they're not gonna fall out and so that you can hear the isolation. So to fit the foam earplug, roll it between your thumb and forefinger to compress the plug. Reach behind your head with the opposite arm and just pull on your ear gently to open up your ear canal. Press it into place, wait for it to expand and then let go. One of the problems with foam earplugs is that, as I say, the air pockets are great at blocking out high frequency noise. So you'll lose a lot of high frequency but the low frequency will still get through. Not that it's dangerous, just that it will sound odd. So when you're wearing foam earplugs, everything will sound um, muffled, just like you've got your fingers in your ears, which for drummers might not necessarily be a problem. For many other musicians it is. So what you wanna do from there is to try and um, even the balance up. So what we try to do when we create musicians' earplugs is we try to even up that balance by letting through more high frequency sound and blocking out a bit more low frequency sound to try and make things sound a bit more natural. If you're a gig goer and you want to be able to hear the music clearly when you go to a gig, then it's important as well that we let a bit of that high frequency through so that you get the experience and you get the feel that you want. So, in terms of universal musician's earplugs, without really endorsing any brand in particular, you can uh, Google, go on your, your favorite online shopping website, whatever it may be, type in universal musician's earplugs. You will find earplugs ranging from around about 10 pounds up to about 60. Um, the, the main difference between those is that when you're looking at around the 10 to 15 pound mark up to around about 25, um, you're going to get earplugs that use different types of filter technology to achieve their ends. You're also going to get earplugs that are different shapes and sizes and fit in different ways. Um, really the best way to go about it is either to take a recommendation from someone you know that already wears universal earplugs or read the reviews and try and get a set that you think is right for you. If the fit's not right, make sure you do change them. And when you fit them, make sure that you're uh, reading the instructions and fitting them properly. Because a badly fitted earplug is gonna give you no protection at all and there's no point in having it. Um, so lots of different ways that they protect your hearing. When you get up to around about the 50, 60 pound mark, you're looking at universal fit earplugs that actually use the same filter technology that you'll get in a pro um, custom fit earplug. Now, all of those earplugs have a very similar um, response. So they do start to let in some high frequency and block out a bit more low. And you're looking at around about 18 decibels protection, which is good if you're going to a gig. Um, it's fine if you're a drummer, you may struggle with it if you're getting involved in um, vocals or guitar work or that sort of thing. The two benefits of, of custom-made hearing protection are firstly that 
when we make the earplug, we make it to a, a mold that we take from your ear so that we know that fit is 100% accurate and you're gonna get no um, discomfort from that. You can wear that for an eight hour stretch and it's not gonna give you any problems. So they really are for wearing all day, every day. The um, second benefit is that we know the um, we know the size and shape of your ear very specifically. And while we have the acoustic filter on the outside of the plug, there's a channel that allows the sound into your ear from that filter. We can control very precisely the size and shape of that tube so that we know the acoustics of that earplug are absolutely spot on. Which means that not only is every single custom fit earplug made specifically to fit your ear, it's tuned very, very precisely to sound absolutely right in your ear so you know that you're going to get as flat a response as you possibly can. So the most important thing to remember is that you get an earplug that works for you. If you get an earplug where you can't hear properly what you're doing, then most of the time you're going to end up taking them out. And if you've got an earplug that you end up not wearing, it's as good as having no earplugs at all. So just make sure that you spend enough to get an earplug that works for you. To make a, uh, a custom fit earplug, we have to take a, a, a mold of the ear. So the process itself takes about 10 minutes. We're just gonna do one side here to show you how it works. So I'm just gonna have a quick look uh, in the ear to make sure it's all clear. And then uh, the process itself is perfectly painless. The first thing we do is just put one of these um, sponge blocks in the ear to act as a stopper. Let me know if you get any discomfort here. And then we use this um, ear impression material, which is just a two-part silicone that takes three or four minutes to set. Just feels like you're going underwater. It's all gonna go quiet for a few minutes. Try and keep a straight face while it sets off. Then we leave that set for three or four minutes. Okay, so once this is done, we'll just take this out gently. There we go. And from that, we will make an earplug that is the shape of your ear. And so this is what we make. 